Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install OnCloud 9 to your Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to show you how to mount an external hard drive and access your Raspberry Pi OnCloud externally. Exactly the same as if you were using Dropbox or OneDrive. So let's begin. From the terminal or SSH, enter the following. sudo space raspy config. Here, change the user password, especially if you're going to access your Raspberry Pi OnCloud externally. Once done, go to internalization options, change locale, scroll down to select EN US UTF-8, this one here. Press the spacebar, tab to select OK, and save. Then select overclock option. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3B, this Pi cannot yet be overclocked, but if you're using a different model, you probably can, so set it to medium and save settings. Then go to advanced options, memory split, and change from 64 to 16 megs. Go ahead and save and reboot. Upon reboot, we need to update our Raspberry Pi and its packages. So enter the following command, sudo space apt get update. This will take a little bit, but once done, enter sudo apt get upgrade. Select yes when prompted to continue. Once done, we need to add the data user to the data group. So enter the following sudo space user mod space hyphen a space hyphen capital G space www-data www-data let's install the required packages for oncloud to work properly i copied the command from step 4 on my website because it's a bit long once done go ahead and hit enter this process can take a long time i just edit it so it'll be short now let's create an ssl certificate for a secure connection when accessing our raspberry pi oncloud externally Again, I'm going to copy the commands from my website from step number five and hit enter. You'll be prompted with some brief questions. Um, enter the um, country, in this case is US, state, I'm in Florida, city, uh, company name, the FQDN. In this case, I'll select uh, 10.0.0.18, which is the Raspberry Pi IP address, the department and your email address. Let's apply proper permission to the certificate and key by entering sudo space chmod space 600 space forward slash etc forward slash ingenx forward slash cert dot pen and the same sudo space chmod space 600 space forward slash etc forward slash ingenx forward slash cert dot key. Now let's edit the default configuration by entering sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash engines forward slash sites hyphen available forward slash default. And now we need to replace this information here with the information on step nine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new default file. So I'm going to exit out, back up this one and create a new one. So I'll exit and then enter the following sudo space mv space forward slash etc forward slash engines forward slash sites dash available forward slash default space forward slash etc forward slash engine forward slash sites dash available forward slash and I'll rename it to default underscore old. Once it's been backed up, now let's go ahead and enter the original command which is sudo nano etc engine sites available default and it's going to be a blank document. So now we can copy all the information on step nine and go all the way to the top here and change where it says uh, your IP address here under listen port 80 to the Raspberry IP address. In this case, it's 10.0.0.18 and under listen uh, port 443 SSL, again, change your IP to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Once done, save and exit. 
Now we need to configure the max upload limit in PHP. So enter the following sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash php5 forward slash fpm forward slash php dot ini. Hit enter. Here let's do a control W and search for upload underscore max. It'll bring you straight to the line upload uh, max file size. And here change from 2 megs to 2000 megs. Again, let's do a control W and look for post underscore max. It'll bring you straight to the line, which is post uh, max size and changes to 2000 megs. Once done, go ahead and save the file. Now we need to update the listen line in PHP 5. So enter the following sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash php5 forward slash fpm forward slash pool dot d forward slash dub 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 dot conf here look for listen uh, space equals and then we're gonna edit this line but instead I'm gonna comment this out by putting a hashtag and then immediately underneath I'm gonna put listen space equal space 127.0.0.1 colon 9000 and make a space in between just like it was before and say file then we need to update the uh, swap file so enter this command sudo space nano space for slash etc for slash dphys hyphen swap file here all we need to do is change the comp uh, swap size instead of 100 to 512. Once done, save file. Now reboot the Raspberry Pi and we are ready to install OnCloud 9. Upon reboot, enter the following sudo space mkdir space hyphen p space forward slash var forward slash dub 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 forward slash OnCloud. Once done, enter sudo space wget space https colon forward slash forward slash dot on cloud dot org forward slash community forward slash on cloud dash nine dot zero dot two dot tar dot bz two and hit enter then enter sudo space tar space xvf space on cloud hyphen nine dot zero dot two dot tar dot bz two Once done, let's move OnCloud to the dub dub dub. So enter sudo space mv space OnCloud forward slash space forward slash var forward slash dub 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 forward slash. Let's make the user data owner of the dub 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 directory by entering sudo space shown space hyphen capital R space dub 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 dash data column dub 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 dash data space forward slash var forward slash dub dub dub. Let's remove the installation files by entering rm space hyphen rf space oncloud space oncloud hyphen 9.0.2.tar.bz2. Now we're ready to access our Raspberry Pi oncloud instance from a computer in the network. Enter https colon forward slash forward slash the Raspberry IP address. If you get your connection is not trusted, click on advance, add exception, and confirm security exception. Here, create an admin account by entering username and password and click on finish setup. If you're mounting an external hard drive for large capacity storage, I don't recommend you to log in just yet. Let's mount that external hard drive and we can come back and log in. I'll be mounting an NTFS external hard drive. To do that, enter sudo space apt get install NTFS hyphen 3G just like you see it here. It'll most likely be installed. Yep. Now let's create a directory we can mount the hard drive to. So enter sudo space mkdir space forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive. Now we need the GID and the UID of the user data and the UUID of the hard drive. So enter ID space hyphen G space www dash data for the GID and then ID space hyphen u space www dash data for the uid now to get the uuid of the external hard drive enter ls space hyphen l space forward slash dev forward slash disk forward slash by hyphen uuid 
and that ID should be located to the left of SDA1. Write this information down because we're going to need it for future configuration. Now enter sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash fs tab. And in the bottom, enter uuid equals in the ID of the external hard drive space forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive space auto space no fail comma uid equals 33 comma gid equals 33 comma umask equals 0027 comma dmask equals 0027 comma no a time space zero space zero make sure that the line is properly written and save the file once saved go ahead and reboot upon reboot if you want to check if the hard drive is properly mounted to the directory, enter the following. sudo space ls space forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive. Now you see, you should see some files there that are in the hard drive, but if you don't see anything, don't be surprised. It's most likely because the hard drive is empty. Now let's go back to that network computer and create your admin account. And now click on storage and database drop down and select the directory we just mounted to the external hard drive, which is forward slash media forward slash on cloud drive and click on finish setup. Now this setup will allow you to connect to your Raspberry Pi on cloud instance from within the network. If you want to access this on cloud as if you're accessing Dropbox or OneDrive, you will need to enable port forward. To do that, log in to your router and locate the WAN IP address or external IP address. Write this information down because we're going to need it for future configuration. In the terminal or SSH, enter the following sudo space nano space forward slash var forward slash www forward slash on cloud forward slash config forward slash config that php and add the following line under array one space equals greater than single quote the WAN or external IP address single quote comma and to the right of overwrite that CLI, that URL, the one in blue, replace that IP address with the WAN or external IP address you just got from the router. Once done, save the file and we can go back to the router and here locate the port forward section. Add a new service. I'll name this OnCloud and I'll be using port 443, which is the SSL port. You can manually enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, or you can select it from one of the connected device. Either way, make sure to save the settings. Once done, you can access your Raspberry Pi on cloud instance from anywhere in the world by entering HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and the WAN IP address. If you want to sync using your tablet or mobile device, all you need to do is just download the OwnCloud app and enter the HTTP address with your login information and you'll be syncing exactly the same as if you would with Dropbox or OneDrive. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.